Hi everyone, I'm going to take us through how to open up a social bakers account. As many of you know right now, social bakers is one of the tools that you can use to manage and monitor your social media channels. So on your web browser, type socialbakers.com and let it load. And on the top right here, select start a trial. It will bring you this page. And in this page, you're basically supposed to fill in your details. That is your name. Put in the email. And select the password so the password has to contain at least two of the following lowercase letters uppercase letters numbers and symbols or spaces let me put in my password and tap create an account once you're done So it will send an activation email to your to your email and all you're supposed to do is to go to your email. In case you haven't seen it yet, just refresh and the email will show up as a social baker's trial invitation. And it looks like this. What you have to do is log in. So once it loads, it will give you two options to choose whether you're a business or agency or academic or individual. So in this case, we are academics and researchers. So it's best to choose this, academic or individual. And there are other subcategories. So you can go through and see what best describes what exactly your social media accounts are about. Or your social media pages we can look through and see we'll go with the first one advertising and marketing agency So it will bring you to something like this and all you have to do is add your social profiles. So since you chose, um, you chose marketing agencies, it will bring you some, some samples which you can remove first of all by tapping here on these boxes, on this box. So it will select them and select delete since you're not really researching on these pages just delete these and add your own so since you're using a trial you have only four delete credits meaning you can only delete four trial account trial um, accounts that have been put here so these are so far two that we've used up select delete Then we shall also go to Twitter and do the same, delete these profiles that have already been put and delete. And this will be blank. So we shall go back to Facebook and add our Facebook page. So it will bring four options. You can either add private profiles. This is for profiles which you are currently logged in. Uh, profiles which you have administrator rights to then public profiles if at all you want to remotely um, remotely monitor uh, a certain page to see how it's performing you can also do that this is best if you want to compare how your page is performing vis-a-vis -vis other pages then add accounts this is for facebook instagram and 
LinkedIn. You can also track how your website is doing by adding, by connecting your web analytics. For now, we are adding public profiles. So let us start here. To add, you, you can just search your profile by name or URL. And we want to search for uh, Ultimate Multimedia Consult. I've already opened each of our profiles, uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So I'm going to just search by URL. So I'll just copy the URL and paste it here. That's for Twitter. Add it. it go right there. So Twitter has been added. I'll do the same for Facebook. Copy the URL. Add it. Do the same for YouTube. And also Instagram. So I've added all our uh, our four socials: uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And Twitter you can also um, yes so once we're done with that it, you can now go and view your analytics according to what you've added I've added our Facebook so that is there just tap on it and your results might take some time to load don't worry about it you can even give it like 12 to 24 hours to load meaning if you want your results like today it's best for you to set up a, a trial or a, a trial like two days earlier so that your results can fully load by the time you need them. So Facebook is still loading. Let's go to Twitter and see whether it has loaded. Looks like it has. Yes, our Twitter has loaded and you can see exactly how it looks like. Some data is still downloading. But you don't need to worry about that. It will eventually show up. You can curate this. Since this is a trial, um, it only lasts 14 days. The trial is only 14 days, mark that. So after 14 days, if you need to proceed with the tool, you can pay for it. If you don't need to proceed, you can. You can leave it, you can close the account. So since it's a trial, you also cannot back debt. You can, you can only back this a month earlier like if today is 30th january i can get analytics from first to 30th but you cannot get analytics for december 2020. hope that's clear um let's see have our instagram analytics loaded this we still have this sample accounts but we cannot delete them at this point because we have used up all our digit credits so you can just come here and select the account that you want to monitor and leave the rest our instagram is also still downloading let us see what youtube is telling us yes youtube has loaded some of its metrics you can see you can see the total uh, the growth of total subscribers per day 
a big number of videos, most engaging video over videos overview, um, evolution of interaction, among others, duration, uh, distribution of interactions, number of video views. So once this data uh, fully loads, your graph can look very beautiful. You can even come here on this side on your left and just look at uh, a, a deeper analysis of the subscribers, content, engagement, among others. You can do the same for Instagram. So for Instagram, you can have a deeper analysis of um, followers, content, engagement. But if you want to have deeper insights, that means you have to connect your Instagram profile by connecting Instagram insights so that you can have deeper insights let us see what twitter is telling us so for twitter on your side you can have a deeper report on followers content engagement and social devotion how socially devoted are you to your public if they're asking questions if they're mentioning you are you mentioning back are you re responding to those mentions it can show you that and how well you're doing Let's take a, a look at that. This is still downloading. Let's see if our Facebook page has downloaded fully. It also hasn't hit, but you can see the a deeper report on fans, content, engagement, and how socially devoted you are. So this is basically how um, Social Bakers works. It also has a, pub a publisher, meaning you can manage your social media accounts from here. You can, uh, it, it can give you a calendar. This is our calendar. So it can help you to uh, set up how you want to post, set up your schedule for social media posting, um, scheduling, um, waiting, uh, those posts are waiting approval, among others. So it also helps to, basically, it helps you to plan how you're going to post. And like we said, once you're managing multiple multimedia, managing multiple social media accounts, you need a tool that will ease your work. And this publisher is really, really good as it can help you to schedule posts for your all your socials. You can schedule posts for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, your LinkedIn, Pinterest. Yeah. So you can just choose which social media channel that you want to schedule a post for. Or if you want to post, you can just choose so thank you very much for watching